He's the Mariners' cult hero. And after a first ever goal in a derby triumph, he's in the spotlight. All five foot three of Josh Nisbet. Maybe it's because of my size, I don't know, but I'm no cult hero, I just, I just play footy and have fun. <laughs> I prefer to call you diminutive. I think that's a, a, a better adjective. Oh, that's a nicer word. <laughs> we call him uh, Big Baby, actually. He's a cult hero at the club here. We love him. I think I had a fair few more doubters than most people, but I think my parents sort of kept me away from it a little bit. I always wanted to be a footballer. I wasn't going to let a few opinions stop me, so I just kept pushing and I'm here now. I'm sure there was a, a quote on your, your phone that perhaps yes. sums this up. It was always about working hard and fighting, so I had to... It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight of the dog. I feel like every second day I was against the wall getting measured. To me, it didn't matter, but to Dad, growing up one meal was a, it was a big thing in the now, so... To be honest, some days I avoided it. <laughs> Dad, I was the same like yesterday, no, no different today. So. <laughs> Was it weird that they rated you more in Spain than perhaps some coaches in Australia? Yeah, look, I, some of the Spain people really liked me and you come back here and you're just sort of like an average player. Did other clubs knock you back? I wouldn't really say knock me back, but just didn't show any interest. It's the only club that gave me an opportunity and now I'm, I'm sort of repaying them a little bit. You gotta be protagonist. I got one message saying um, I'm small like you and so it's good to sort of be on the other end and, and know that you're inspiring kids to do well. I've sent a few messages to the professionals when I was that age. Messi, Kante, <laughs> a few of them, yeah. They didn't reply. <laughs> Banter. How does it work? Oh, it's pretty good when we get the hurdles out because he has to go on the side to get over the hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> he gives it that to all the boys too. Don't worry, don't, don't worry about that. To do what he does, I mean, he knows what he's good at and he knows his game and that's why he's so effective. He's worked hard his whole life and I know he's gone through a lot to, to get here, so everyone might underestimate him, but don't underestimate him when he's on the field. The guy can go to Europe, he can go anywhere he wants. He's a great player. I'd love to play for Australia. When I think I was maybe like 10 years old, on my birthday, everything I got was Socceroos, Socceroos scarf, ball, everything, water bottle, and I lost the water bottle one day and started crying. <laughs> but no, Socceroos is definitely something I'd, I'd love to be, but I think I've got a little bit more to give before I get there.